Hello and welcome back to NorCal 715. Today I have this USB speaker, sharper image, and the customer brought it into me just like this. The screws are out, and the problem he is saying is the USB charging jack has been detached from the circuit board. Yeah, he has a bag that states Plastic bag contains screws from back plate and old USB micro plug, as well as the sharper image instruction manual. I don't think that's going to be much help. So let's take a look at what's in the bag. Where you have four Phillips wood screws. And I don't think there's much saving this guy. You can see that, yeah, this thing's pretty much history. Yeah, there's no fit in a USB charging plug back into that guy. So let's see what the board looks like. So from the inside, it looks like it has an 18650 single cell and uh, looks like we have two screws holding this board in place. So let's take that out and see what the charging jack looks like. Oh dear. From what I can see, traces are missing off of the board. Now this customer said that the speaker was plugged in and it got pulled on or tripped on. And I see one trace remaining and three out of the four USB traces that are missing. Nevertheless, I'm gonna do what I can to help this customer out. If I can rob a charging port off of something else and then individually solder wires to it to make it go again, then so be it. Okay, so to make this thing safe, the first thing I'm gonna do is unsolder the battery from it. I'm going to start by removing the negative terminal. Uncover a piece of black tape. Same thing with the positive terminal. Okay, so the battery now is safe. All right, so next I'm gonna just start and preheat the board a little bit. I've got some flux on here. Just gonna warm it up just a little bit. The board is preheated now. I'm just gonna desolder what I can off of here. Next, I'm just going to take and clean the area up just a little bit with some acetone and a Q-tip. We'll see what it looks like when we're done. So it looks like we have one terminal left, and then we have another terminal that I've scraped here with a screwdriver to reveal the solder pad, the copper pad. And so if we can find a USB jack to lay on here, and attach it to here and the one terminal here most likely the negative and the positive to go on this pad we have to put a jumper wire on here I think we'll be good to go so what I've got here is a circuit board out of a USB charger that went south I believe one of these chips has gone south the batteries were hooked up backwards inadvertently so I have this USB charging jack that I think I might just try to heat up with a hot air blower and see if it will lift off the board easily and quickly and then we can transfer this over to the new board I'm just gonna grab onto it here get my hot air blower and if this works the board will just drop away from it when it becomes heated up so I'm going to try to heat around the extremity of it first and try to not damage the leads or try not to melt the plastic if I don't have to and it's done there it is but it's off the board it took like 10 or 15 seconds to get it off now let's try to attach it to the no board all right so I've got the board ready here I'm gonna take my hacko and I'm just gonna try to unsolder everything that I can from these traces <laughs> Wow, it still has broken pieces in there. 
What is in there? I was hoping I could vacuum it out. Alright, got it out. Don't know where it went, but it came out. So we have our new USB jack. Let's clean off the pins. Alright, that one's ready to go. Okay, so I have the new jack affixed to the circuit board with an alligator clip. I'm going to carefully try to solder these two terminals. All right, got some flux on here now. So we'll have to run a jumper on the other lead that's been taken off the board this point right here. All right, so I have the jack prepared. I'm just gonna try to tack this onto the board. If it'll take. Hard to focus up on this, but I've added a separate lead from the raw pad to the right hand pin of the micro USB connector. Now we'll go ahead and reattach all the leads to it and give it a try. All right, so let's go ahead and attach the battery back to it. And as I recall, the negative was the outside lead. Very carefully, we'll attach the positive to the inside lead. There we go. Somewhere right here, I have a USB charging jack. If it'll reach, just barely. And we get a red light. That's a great sign. Let's get a voltmeter on here. See what kind of voltage we get across the battery at this point. Three point five volts. Oh, and look at that! It is charging. The voltage is rising. The battery is charging. We're gonna let it charge for a few minutes, and we'll give it a test. See if it's gonna work. Okay, so there it is, all back together. The USB. Micro USB jack is accessible now. Plug it in, get a red light that show that it's charging. Turn it on. Get the blinking blue LED looking for Bluetooth. We're just gonna plug an auxiliary in player into it. Skip through some songs. Seems to be playing just fine. Let's unplug the uh, USB. We'll zoom out just a little bit. Don't want to play too much, otherwise I'll get another copyright infringement, but anyhow, there you go. I'm replacing the USB jack and a sharper image. Can you even see the model number? SBT3012 USB speaker. 
Bluetooth speaker. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider making a donation on my YouTube homepage to my PayPal donate button or you can go to paypal.me slash NorCal715. Please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to ring that bell to get notifications about future videos. Once again, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill and out of the recycle bin. Everybody have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.